at least nine cabinet ministers, three assistant ministers, seven permanent secretaries, and other senior government officials, including the central bank governor, are in London with President Mwai Kibaki. These officials and their aides are attending the London Olympics and trade meetings on your tax money. Prime Minister Raila Odinga was the man on the hot seat in Parliament Wednesday defending such government trips. All these ministers do not go on a joyride. The president is not only there on a leisure tour. The speaker is on a promotional tour. Raila tabled the expenditure of 37 out of 40 ministries for the first four years of the coalition government. Top on the list was Treasury, which spent 193.6 million shillings to date on air tickets. The office of the Prime Minister follows. Office of the Prime Minister, 133 million shillings. Others were agriculture at 47.5 million, higher education at 46.9 million, Nairobi Metropolitan 44.8 million. Among the lowest spenders were lands at 3.9 million, national heritage at 3.6 million, and public works at less than a million shillings. 967,000 shillings. The offices of the president and vice president asked for more time to compile data. Do you see as fair for the government to spend such a colossal amount of money on official trips when schools are about to close down before the program time just because they are not getting services or they are not getting funds for the government? No government can work if it is isolated. The amount of money that is spent on these travels is peanuts compared to the amount of money that comes in the country as a result of those trips. What is the relevance? of some of the people who make the trip. Ministers traveling with the president or with the prime minister are usually ministers whose um, portfolios are affected by the trip. The ministers have not committed any crime by traveling when the parliament itself has approved those monies for the travel by the ministers. Raila also denied that he and the vice president used foreign trips to campaign before Kenyans in the diaspora. Ansu Mwendia, KTN Prime.